accommodate you. Friday, November 11, 2022, parliamentary proceeding had begun. At about 12.15 p.m., the Dom Kwabenya Member of Parliament, Sarah Ajua Safo, walked into the chamber. But she did not get that warm reception from her colleagues as MPs sitting close to her seemed careless of her presence. Then, MP for Ibuakwa South, Samuel Atachia, walked to her and put a smile on her face. MP for Tamale Central, Mutala Mohammed, also joined Atachia to welcome her and then the minority chief whip, Muntaka Mohammed Mubarak. The minority leader turned just a side way and said a thing to her. All the while that Sarah Joasafo was in the chamber, only two MPs from her side welcomed her. And just before the speaker adjourned the day's proceedings, the Dom Kwabenya MP left the chamber. Those in favor of adjournment say aye. Those against say no. The eyes have it. In a brief interview, she said the reception was good and hopes the subsequent weeks will be better. <laughs> The reception has been good, yeah. I'm now back and um, back as a member of parliament to continue my duties. And so today's the first day and I'm hoping that the subsequent weeks are going to be good. It feels good to be back, that's all I can say. The Dom Kwabenya MP has not reported to Parliament for close to a year. She and two others were referred to the Privileges Committee for absenting themselves for more than 15 sitting days without permission. Attempts by the committee on a number of occasions to get her explain her side of the story proved futile, compelling the majority members on the committee to ask for her seat to be declared vacant. That report of the Privileges Committee is yet to be taken on the floor and debated on